Hey YouTube, Kim here with the August Owl Crate, which is themed Something Wicked This Way Comes. And But I first want to give a quick apology that I never posted the July one, and that's because I filmed it with my friend Kaylee, and then the next day I had to evacuate because there was a fire like 20 yards from my house, and it was coming up and the firemen were banging at my door. Um, so I never got around to editing and posting it, and then I was just like, oh, it's too late now. And I'm in a weird place because I'm pet sitting, so you might hear a cat meow like I think you just did. But anyways, something wicked this way comes. I will create. Let's get right into it, because I'm excited. <sighs> and this is what it looks like inside, which has a really cool ravens on it trying not to look at the back but that is really pretty to be honest that's like this is one that I would want to frame because that's so pretty with the ravens okay so right on top we have it just looks like a bunch of stuff so first things first is a splendid pen no idea what a splendid pen is fountain pen three black ink cartridges um and it looks like it's got like a fancy tip or something. So, oh wow, look, look at that. It's got like the, um, I don't know what this is called, but so this is going to be a very fun pen to use. This is a fancy pen, so with a couple more ink cartridges so that's really nice um and next up in here are uh, we knew we were getting it out of mouth out of print and so we've got i can't grab the mount we've got poe cadet socks with edgar Allan poe so yeah i actually knew that we were getting these ones because they said it was one that was just in their shop online and they didn't really have very many options so i was like it's probably the edgar Allan poe ones but they're cute. I like that. That's funny. Um, to be honest, I've never actually read any Edgar Allan Poe outside, but they like require for reading, which I think was part of the Raven. But anyways, okay. So next up, I mean, aside from bookworms, um, is Dark Arts Roast. So this is our coffee um, that is Death Eater themed, which is really, really funny. Um, Papua New Guinea, flavor notes... I think that means almond, orange, and chocolate. It's just got pictures. So, but I think that's what that would be, is almond, orange, and chocolate flavor notes. But two ounce coffee sampler, death before decaf. <laughs> um, but yeah, for a special offer to Owl Crate members, visit Happenstance Coffee, happenstance.coffee. Um, yeah. So that is delicious. I like me some coffee. I don't brew it all the time, but I like it. Okay, and let's see, next up we have No Mourners, No Funerals Among Them It Passed for Good Luck on this side. And then on the other side, it says, when everyone knows you're a monster, you needn't waste time doing every monstrous thing. And that, these are from Lee Bardigo's Six of Crows, which I haven't yet read. I own it, and I have it signed, and I just haven't read it yet. But okay, and then, um, what is this? We are made light, the darkest acts. I have no idea what this is, to be honest. I think it's a sticker, but I have no idea what it's for or from. Hmm. Okay, I almost thought I got the book wrong, because I do a book guess every single time. So I know like, what the book is, but like, I almost thought I got it wrong. But it's just because I forgot they were sending out two books. So we got this, like, an Owl Crate exclusive cover from or Sleepy Hollow from the Rock Paper print company. Which is, that's a really pretty cover. I like when we get two books. I haven't actually read Sleepy Hollow, but I've heard it's very good. Uh -huh. And then, this, oh, 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 we got something else, which is a heart. It says, I chose this. Here, I'll take it out of the bag to show you. I assume this is like book goodies right here. That goes, that is, that's a kind of really cute pen. Um, yeah, cute art. So I chose this. And then the Owl Crate pin of the month is a really cute owl in front of the moon. Oh, okay. And I've just moved it slightly from the card which had it right there. But I do like it. This is, these ones are very pretty. I wonder when they're going to stop doing pins. So they said they're only doing it for like a year. Um, okay, so the book is 
The Hearts We Sold by, I forgot her name, Emily Lloyd-Jones. And this is an exclusive cover, which I think the only thing they changed was the font to a slightly different font, and now it's in red, because I think before it's in white. But I think it still looks good in red. I don't completely know the changes. Um, And then we got a signed book plate, which says, I chose this, and it's obviously signed by Emily Lloyd-Jones, and then an author letter, which looks really cute, because everything's like done and as if it's like neat, stitched. Um, I'm just gonna pull out that author letter real quick. So the author letter looks like this. Not gonna read it, because it always takes too long. Um, I'll just stick that back in now. But that's really cute, I like it. No, I'm just like, I know that, yeah, I'm pretty sure that they've only changed the font on the cover, because I'm pretty sure it's the same girl as online. And so, it's not the most amazing, but I still like it. Which last month I didn't like as much, because blue and orange just don't go together for me. Okay, and so our last thing in the box is our next theme is Mythical Creatures, which is really, really, really exciting. Um, and that's really cute done by Evie Bookish again. So to next month, we're gonna get a book bow. Those things add so much value because I think even the cheapest one is at least like $15 for it. And like book bows are really good quality. I think their new ones even let, like liquids will just bounce off. Like that's their, with how their new material because it's new and improved and like I support it via Kickstarter. And so I'm really excited to get an Owl Grade exclusive book bow. It's gonna be awesome. Um, yeah, I think I actually got the one that's pictured right there, which is like the Galaxy one for my Kickstarter one, but that's uh, super exciting. Um, and now I'm going to read over this thing really quickly for you guys, see if there is anything, so that's that side, if you want to look. Um, so, maybe yes, Edgar Allan Poe socks from Out of Print. We got Harry Potter Dark Arts inspired medium roast coffee made exclusively by Happenstance Coffee, Nagini approved. Uh, should a snake be drinking coffee? I don't know. Okay. And then we got a fountain pen to write a horror novel of our own, apparently, from Odie. And our Sleepy Hollow and Other Stories, published by Rock Paper Books. We got our, um, oh. It's from the Savage Song. How did I not recognize that? Um, but Evie Bookish designed this as well. And yeah, it's... Okay, and then uh, let's see what else we got. We got the double-sided bookmark made from Treehouse of Books. And that was themed Six of Crows. And then it just gives a little synopsis of our book, which we got our signed book plate, handwritten letter, and the lapel pen, which was really cute art. So that's awesome. Um, yeah, so then they say happy reading. Thanks for being awesome. Thank you guys for watching my really quick awkward place since I'm pet sitting video. Um, I will get back to you next month with Harry Potter and Owl Crate again because I'm getting their mythical creatures box with a book bow. Thanks for watching and see you next time YouTube. Bye!